Hi everyone, my name is Tony Huang, the founder of Tech Execs Network. Today is April 16, 2013, here in Dallas, Tech Execs Chapter IT Leadership Roundtable, featuring speaker uh, Mr. Peter Vocal, which he's the uh, trial attorney, and uh, he's going to be talking about the Ten Commandments of IT Contracts. Uh, so it, the event's turning out great, and uh, let's go and grab a few people for a quick soundbite. Hi everyone, my name is Tony Huang, the founder of Tech Execs Network. With me is Peter Vogel. Yeah, I'm a trial attorney with Gardeer Wynn Sewell in Dallas, although we've got offices around Texas as well. And uh, just sort of by way of background why I got invited, uh, I started my career as a systems programmer on IBM mainframes, have a master's in computer science, and law is a second career. Peter is our feature presenter this morning, and you're going to be talking about the 10 commitments of IT contracts. Can you share with everyone a little bit about uh, what that's about? Well, I've, over the years, I've negotiated hundreds of IT contracts, and I've sort of come to the conclusion that there are certain features of IT contracts that are kind of unique. And so I'm going to talk about some of the highlights of those things and things that I think IT professionals need to pay a close attention to. For those people that are not able to make it, what are some takeaway points? Well, I think one of the critical things is to not feel that there are business points that are separate than legal points. When you come down to it, there's no difference. They're all the same. And so oftentimes what will happen is I see IT professionals saying, well, we'll negotiate with the vendor on the business issues. And before you know it, they've given away the farm and they don't even realize it. So I think having a lawyer involved that understands something about IT is pretty important as well. Do you guys normally work uh, independently or do you sometimes work with in-house counsel? Um, both, uh, depending on what the circumstance is. I've got an ERP implementation that's going on right now. It's been going on for about a year and I helped train the two lawyers that work in-house so that day to day they take care of things but when big things blow up they give me a call so yeah thank you so much peter for being a presenter this morning and uh, we're looking forward to uh, hearing from you my pleasure thanks for visiting with me with me is alan kravitz he's our vice president of programs here at the tech Execs dallas chapter how are you alan I'm doing great. Thank you so much for hosting today's event. I know Dan's out of town, and also Blake's is unavailable also, so you're going to take the helm? Well, the good thing about tech execs is they're recruiting leaders, and no matter how uh, low on the totem pole you are, you're going to get your day to shine. And so um, uh, Dan is in, in uh, Hawaii, and Blake is in India, and William is taken ill, and so I guess that leaves... Uh, moderating and facilitating the meeting today to me. I don't think you're a low, low man on the total. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So tell me a little bit about the turnout so far. Turnout is fantastic. I think we had 66 people register online. It's fantastic. We're really excited about um, improving the quality of the programs and attracting people to the networking event and also providing um, a lot of good relevant information. Well next month we have an exciting speaker as well. Um, Phil Farr uh, is a very well-known person around the IT community in Dallas, Fort Worth area. He's going to be talking about leadership and contrasting leadership with management. So it uh, promises to be an outstanding event, and Phil has got quite a lot of experience, and he's consulted by many organizations in Dallas, Fort Worth, on how to develop leaders. Are you ready to do the roundtable later on today? Absolutely. All set. Great. Thank you so much, Alan, for hosting today's event. Thanks, Tony. Wow, that was a fabulous event today in Dallas, Texas, April 16, 2013, at the Dallas IT Leadership Roundtable. And uh, with me is Dave Waltz. How are you, Dave? Really well, thanks. Thank you so much for evangelizing the events. And you invited um, a bunch of people. So what was, what was the reason some of these guys were coming? Well, really, I think what I did to get as many guests out as I possibly could is just talk about the value of tech execs. Um, you know, this is an amazing group in, in terms of, you know, being able to be mentored by the right people, to be able to make the right connections, uh, to propel your career. Uh, you, you meet the right people, the people that are key decision makers. <laughs> and so it was, a, it was a great way to tell them that it's uh, very non-threatening. Um, you're going to get a lot out of it intellectually. What a great uh, speech that Peter gave today. I mean, it was something that I learned a, a lot about in terms of, you know, learning about IT contracts. And I think the, the members appreciate um, how we approach everything. You, the biggest takeaway point for me was to, to negotiate the hard points first on the contracts. Uh, what Peter hit in terms of making sure that, you know, 
the contract is the, the, the IT project is never finished. Negotiate the hard points up front before you sign because once you sign, the honeymoon's over. Um, that was a big point to really drive in and to to your head. And I think he, he highlighted each individual point that he made in a really really um, good way, so that you could take away each topic and apply it to the next contract you're going to sign. Um, so the people that were here, what they're telling me is they come up to me is we really enjoyed it and, and I'm going to go back and look at my contract some more. So, so our, our theme for 2013 is building the next generation of IT leadership, uh, which means targeting IT managers, IT directors, VPs, and uh, the direct reports from CIOs on also. So what would be a compelling reason for you to communicate to them? Well, for the next le level of leaderships, um, you know, I, I, I kind of live by, by uh, John Maxwell's uh, quote of everything rises and falls with leaders, leadership. Um, it was great to see so many CIOs and senior vice presidents here to be able to mentor to the next level of leaders that are up and coming. And it's a very non-threatening group. So if, if you're going to grow in your career and you, you want to make sure that you avoid the obstacles that come in a career, you want to learn from those that have gone before you, uh, the leaders that have gone before you. And this group allows you in a very, very non-threatening way to be in a roundtable discussion, to bring your problems to them and, and be mentored and to hear about things that you're going to deal with in everyday life in your career. And today's topic was about IT contracts and managers and directors will sign a lot of contracts. And if you were here today, you learned some of the things to look at on a contract to avoid that, that tough discussion you might have with a CIO. Thank you so much, David, for inviting um, all these great folks coming. And uh, we we'll look forward to uh, you next time. Thanks so much.